Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Well today I'm excited because I am flying in my favorite airplane the 737 MAX and uh, I'm going to talk to you about this because we have the PDMG 737 coming so uh, where does that place the the um, the Braddock 737 MAX once we have the PMDG 737 what is going to happen? What is the fate of the Boeing 737 MAX from Braddock? So we're going to talk about that today as I'm flying. Um, now we're taking off from Los Angeles and we're just heading down the coast and we're going to come in over the city. We're going to scrape over the top of the skyscrapers and uh, we're going to land at San Diego, which is our home base um, for this part of the world. Um, KSAN International. So it's going to be a lovely flight. It is dawn. The sun is just coming up. So the colors and the clouds are just going to look absolutely beautiful. Uh, but more importantly, we need to have a little chat about our 737 situation. So here we are at Los Angeles on a beautiful morning. Well, it's not that beautiful. We've got a few heavy threatening clouds around there, to be honest. Uh, but it is about 7 o'clock, 7.30 a.m., just after sunrise. And we've got quite a bit of cloud up ahead of us there to get through. Uh, but it's only a short hop, so we should be fine. We'll just take off, turn to the left, and head down to San Diego. Um, we have taxied to the active runway, and we are ready to depart. Uh, I can check here that my flaps are down, my trim is set down here. Uh, so I come over here, turn on the flight director, turn on my LNAV, turn on altitude hold, and autopilot on. And we're going to get up through these clouds, and we're going to turn left and head down the coast. Hopefully we might avoid... We turn turn around left here we might avoid most of these clouds but I don't know looks like we're heading straight into it so uh, buckle up put on your seat belts make sure you're in nice and tight landing lights uh, can come off And we're heading down round to the left now to intercept our flight plan and head on down the coast. Yeah, so the question I have to ask in regards to 737s, Boeing 737s. Um, I really love this Boeing 737 by Braddock. It was not too good when it first came out. But as it got better and better, I have really enjoyed it. So I have no regrets buying it. And boy, have I had my money's worth. I can't really remember how much I paid for it. But um, um, boy, have I had my money's worth. I really have had hours and hours of enjoyment out of this plane. So am I glad I bought it? Yes, I am. Um, no regrets at all. I have loved it. And now it is actually a very, very nice plane to fly. It is even better. Uh, but the question I have, of course, is um, with PDMG 737 coming out, what am I going to do with this one? Um, am I going to fly both of them, both of the 737s? 
Uh, or am I going to put this plane into retirement and just fly the PMDG 737? It will be a beautiful model. It will be an air, a beautiful aircraft. Um, and it will also be study level. That's guaranteed. So the question I have is, how easy to fly? How easy is it going to be to fly it? Am I going to be smart enough to fly it? Um, I'm smart enough to fly this one, but this isn't study level. And I know it inside out now. I know everything. I know I do a lot of things wrong and incorrectly, but, but I know... I know how to get from A to B, I can do ILS landings and flight plans and all sorts of things. I basically can do anything I want to do with this plane. Uh, the PMDG plane is going to be a different story, a different kettle of fish. I'm not sure if it's going to be modeled just 100% for hardcore flight simmers, study level people, or whether it's going to be something that beginners like myself can get in and fly. Um, if so, it's going to take a heck of a lot of work and a heck of a lot of study to be able to fly it and to uh, do anything with it. So it is a big commitment. Am I going to pay out the money and buy it and then find out that it's a bit too difficult, it's a bit too hard for me? I prefer this one because this one is simple and I can fly it anywhere I want, do anything I want with it, and it looks really nice as well. Sure, it's not study level, but it is a heck of a lot of fun, and I have very little to no trouble with it now. Um, and it seems a shame to just park it up and forget about it. So what are you going to do? Let me know in the comments. Are you going to fly both? Are you going to park this one up and just fly the PMDG 737? Or maybe you're not going to pay out the money at all, and you're just going to stay with this one. If this one's fulfilling the need, and you're enjoying this one, it does everything you want it to do, do you actually need to buy the PMDG 737? Do you need it? Is it money you're just spending for the sake of, well, everybody else is doing it, so I should do it? Or are you going to stick with this one because it does everything that you need? It's everything you want, everything you need. Uh, so I'm interested in your thoughts uh, in the comments below. Are you going to put the Braddock 737 out to retire and just use the PMDG? Uh, so let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, there are screenshots coming up now of the new 737. Everyone's getting excited. It is getting closer. They have fixed and solved a few problems. So they are going to be able to release it. Uh, we still don't know when, but I would imagine maybe in the next uh, two, two to three months, I would say. Maybe even one month. Uh, but who knows? But I guess I will be getting it, I will have a look at it, and I will decide whether I'm going to stick with the Braddock 737 for all my fun flights, or whether I'm going to uh, just get my head down and get to the grindstone and try and figure out this study level 737. I'm hoping because it's a Boeing, it will be quite simple and easy to fly. I'm hoping that I can do flight plans in the flight planner. Um, maybe I can, maybe I won't be able to. Um, maybe I'll have to use the onboard computer to do the flight plans. I don't know. But if I can make the flight plans in the flight planner menu of the game, that would be fantastic. Because it's just so practical, it's so simple and easy. And straightforward, it makes the whole game uh, nice and a lot more enjoyable. If that's what you like. Some people like to play around with the computer for 20-30 minutes on the ground before they even take off. If you're that study level kind of person then uh, you, you, you'll enjoy the 737 from PMDG more than this one. And you won't mind what it does as long as it's study level. But for me, I like simplicity. I like being able to do things uh, simply. Um, and we don't know. 
So let me know what you think in the comments. Are you only interested in the study level planes? Or are you like me, you're a casual flyer, you just like to get in and kick the tires and light the fires? So, the Braddock 737, are its days numbered? Is it the inevitable end uh, coming up and in sight for this plane? Uh, or is it something you are going to keep long term and just keep enjoying it? Let me know in the comments below. If there was no PMDG plane coming at all, to be honest, I would be quite happy continuing with the 737. I really would. If there was no other 737 coming, I would just continue flying this one. Uh, but let me know how you feel in the comments. I'm very interested to know because I know this plane has a good, strong following now. Um, am I the only one that feels like that? Then maybe I'll keep this one and just continue with this one long term. Beautiful cloud formations here. Just really awesome. Coming around now and then I'll be lined up perfectly in the front of the runway. And I got a bit of cloud here. I can't really see very much. So much for doing a manual visual landing. I think it would be a bit of a struggle today. Um, I have hit the approach hold mode as you can see I had approach approach mode um, but when I did my flight plan I didn't actually program in the ILS I did the flight plan but I didn't program in the ILS or I didn't select an ILS when I did the flight plan um, so I'm just wondering if it is going to do an ILS landing or whether I need to bring it in manually. I don't know if it's following the I don't know if it's following the glide slope or not, to be honest. Can I have a visual on the actual runway? There it is, straight ahead there. I can see it. I can see it. I'm going to turn off the autopilot and I'm going to bring her in manually now. What? Well, I am too high. I am way too high. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred.
Okay, there we go. Didn't seem too bad. Wasn't really that good, but um, wasn't that bad either, I don't think. For a manual landing, we didn't seem to be in the right place. We were certainly, um, we were certainly at the wrong altitude. Uh, but we got down okay. And don't worry. They will crawl out from under the rocks and everyone will be criticizing me for that. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can just taxi to a parking. And, um, and then I'm going to try and go through the uh, process of shutting down this plane. I've had a couple of people ask me how to shut down this plane. Where's my car park space? Over here. Uh, a couple of people have asked me, um, how do you shut it down? So I'm going to have a go at sh shutting the engines down, shutting the plane down today. Okay, that'll do us. It's not the right place, but for the sake of the video, that will do us. I think they can still uh, attach the air bridge from there. Okay, now I think one way to shut it down is you can hit um, Control Shift E, and I think that shuts the plane down. But how would we normally shut it down? Um, what would we do? We we shut off the we shut off the fuel, turn off the engine master. We go up here and uh, turn off the battery. Turn off the generators. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Is there something I missed? Something else we're supposed to do? Turn off all the lights. Lights off. Um, fuel pumps off. And uh, everything shut down. If there's something that you're supposed to do when you're shutting down the 737, let me know in the comments. Um, because I've never actually studied the correct the correct procedure of shutting down this plane. Um, so all I did basically was turn off the engine masters here, left and right. Turn this battery power off. Turned off the battery. I think I turned it off. I clicked it. Turned off the generators, the engine generators. Um, turned off the fuel pumps um, and I think the plane pretty much just shut down all by itself turned off all the landing lights and these switches here so I think that's what you do if there's some some um, correct way of doing it uh, let me know in the comments please I'd be very interested in that but anyway that's what I've done today and it seems to work okay um, all right Thanks for watching guys. It was a funny bit of a video today. I just feel like having a chat. I don't know if I really felt like flying. Um, but I really do, really did feel like having a bit of a chat to you guys. And just getting your ideas on what you think about this plane. Are you going to keep it long term and keep flying it? Or are you going to park it up and trade it in and just fly the PMDG 737 when it comes out? But I hope you're keeping well out there. I hope you're keeping safe. I hope you enjoy your flying. And uh, look after yourselves. And I'll talk to you again soon. Take care, guys. Ciao.